Today, we are going to use Midjourney and Photoshop to create stock images to upload and sell on Adobe Stock. We're going to work on our prompts and image generation, mass upscale our images, and finally upload them to Adobe Stock to sell. Please like and subscribe for more similar content. And without further ado, let's start designing. First off, we need to generate some prompts in ChatGPT. Lucky for us, these will also be used in our description and tags for our Adobe Stock collection, so it's less work to set up later on. I have a chat up and a prompt ready that I can share in the comments below. The format for this prompt is pretty simple. We want to generate multiple prompts for different art styles of the same theme. I'm going to go with an animal theme for my Adobe Stock collection to start off. I want to have at least 15 elements in my prompt to use as my tags later on. And I want the five different prompts to include different art styles. So once that's ready, I'll hit enter. So now we have a couple prompts to work with. In some cases, ChatGPT will provide these in their own lists for each item. If that was the case, you could just add in your prompt to provide the responses in paragraph format and that should be good. So now that we have these prompts, we can go ahead and open up Discord and start prompting Midjourney for some images. Now we are in Discord and I have Midjourney added to my server here to start prompting for Adobe stock images. I have my first prompt pasted in, the majestic lion one, and before I use the imagine command and hit enter, I'm going to add in a curly brace here at the end and specify two aspect ratios. I'm going to start with the square aspect ratio at a comma and then include the 16, nine aspect ratio. Now what these curly braces do is it allows you to run this prompt twice, once with the one to one ratio and once with the 16 to nine ratio. And I want to upload both types of images up onto Adobe stock later on. So once this is set, we can copy this into our prompt and hit enter. So now it's just making sure that we want two prompts for each aspect ratio. I'm going to hit yes. Now that we have some images, I'm going to go ahead and upscale each image. And once these are upscaled, I'm going to download each image and save it in a folder. I'm going to create two folders, one for each aspect ratio. And we're going to need to do one more step before we upload these onto Adobe stock. Now, images generated by Midjourney are not the highest resolution. So more often than not, we're going to need to upscale these. There are many free online tools that allow you to upscale images up to four times their original resolution. However, they only allow one image at a time. I created a set of actions in Photoshop that allow us to batch upscale images for different aspect ratios. So we're going to head on to Photoshop and we're going to upscale these images and then start uploading. Now I have Photoshop up with a blank document. It doesn't matter what you have on here. We just need to have a document up to run our scripts. So I will go into file scripts, image processor, hit that. Now, once we're in here, there are a couple things we want to do. First off, these actions aren't in Photoshop by default. These are ones I created. So if you're interested in learning how to make these, to batch upscale images in Photoshop, let me know in the comments. Or if you're even interested in just having these upscale actions up for download, also let me know. So I made sure the folder that is selected here is the one with all our mid journey exported square images. And then I'm going to save the upscaled ones in the same folder. Once I have everything ready, I can hit run. 
Photoshop will automatically upscale our images. Now here's a quick comparison of the upscaled image on the left and the original one straight out of mid-journey. We can clearly see the original is a little more pixelated at this zoom level, whereas this is a little more smooth and a little more higher res. This will be much better to upload into Adobe Stock just given their requirements and guidelines. So once we have all our images upscaled, we can set up an Adobe Stock account and start uploading our collection. So now we are on Adobe Stock, that's stock.adobe.com, and I've set up a free account. Quick reminder, you don't need to have a Creative Cloud membership or subscription to Adobe at all to sell stock photos. So once we're in here, we can go into sell. We can hit upload my first asset. And I will drag and drop my four images that I created in here. Now, very important, since these are AI generated images, we want to check this box and we want to make sure these are illustrations. These are guidelines or requirements by Adobe for all illustrations. I will select animals for the category and then hit no for recognizable people or property. My title is going to be Majestic Lion in Lush Rainforest and we also need to include generative AI in here. My keywords are going to be my mid journey prompt. So I'll just paste those in here and I'll add in generative AI and generative AI. And that's it. We can submit this one file. I'll do the same for the rest of these, submit everything, and then we can recap after. Okay. So I uploaded a few more images. I ran another mid journey prompt for horses and uploaded some upscaled square images for those as well as some 16 to nine images in here. After filling in all the required stuff in here, I can go ahead and submit all my files, selecting everything, hit submit. And there we have it. Looks like our files are submitted and are pending review. Once that's done and we have a few days of these being up, we'll come back and check how they did. We'll see you in a few days. All right, so it's been seven days and now I am back in my Adobe stock dashboard. And it unfortunately looks like none of our images have sold yet. And that is because if we go into our uploaded files, we can see that all of our images are still in review. This is a common thing for generative AI pictures where for Adobe stock, they take a little longer than other forms of images to review. So all we can do at this point is try to upload our images as early as possible before the review queue gets too long or even Adobe limits generative AI image uploads. Right now, I think there are still lots of opportunities to use Midjourney for stock images. And there are plenty of other stock image websites that we can, in the meantime, try today's process for, such as Shutterstock, Deposit Photos, or Unsplash. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for part two of the series to know how well we do after we get approved. Thank you so much for joining me for today's tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and let me know what your process is like for AI stock image generation. It's been Jam Design and I'll see you in the next one.